So I've said it many times. You do not need to sell drugs to make a decent living for yourself. If you don't believe uni's for you, cool. Get yourself a skill or a trade. Become a mechanic, a plumber, carpenter or electrician. Master that trade and then go out and find your own clients. Work for yourself. Not too long ago, I came back from London. Now to go down there to do a job for some client. The person just wanted six, seven sockets installed, couple lights installed, couple switches needed to be changed on the inside of the house. I made a decent amount of money for not much work. And it definitely was not hard work. Let me show you something. So let's not get this thing twisted. I'm not out here trying to show off. I'm not out here trying to make myself look richer than I am. But if you just study for a few years, you can make a decent amount of money a day's time. So I went down to Enfield, two days work. And I brought home 1,100 and 35 pounds. That, guys, this is not drug money. This ain't fake money, neither. This is legit money. Now, about five bills of it is material money that the client paid me back. So obviously I had to buy the material. So let's say I walked away with a healthy £600 for two days' work. Six bills for two days' work. And next man, car works low, man in Jamaican, I work slow. A next man, he could have done that work in a day. If you just take the time out to study for three years, you could be making 300, 500 pound a day. And when you're earning that kind of money, furthermore, I was earning less than that and I bought this house. Now, shout out to the Santander mug. I got the the Santander mark when I completed the purchase on this property. When you're earning less than £300 a day, you can save up to buy a property. Look at my yard. Don't get it twisted. This ain't, you know, a house up in the hills. No, 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 no. This is in Northampton, isn't it? Yeah, let's not get things twisted now, isn't it? So this house is cheap compared to London. Half the price, basically. If you save up, and you make sacrifice in your discipline, if you save up, you can get yourself a little house like this. Right, it might be a little bit way up, but wouldn't you rather have a house? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, man's ghetto, and obviously, man's doing little renovations and that. So, <laughs> at the moment, my letterbox is a piece of paper in it. Um, yeah, I need to buy a letterbox and that. But obviously, get me. It's got the Jamaican flag as well on it. But if you save up a little bit of money and you, you make sacrifice and that, you can buy a decent little house and you know do what you need to do to it and make it look pretty and that. But it's not gonna happen if you're on a joke thing. I mean, it was effortless. Effortless. That job there I done was a walk in the park. Two days work, six hundred pound in your pocket. You don't need to sell drugs. What you need to do is make some sacrifice and be patient. Go to college and study. But man, they're lazy. So what happens if certain man hit twenty years old? And instead of thinking to himself, you know what, all right, I've messed around for a few years, right? Let me just invest a few years and go to college and study. For the next 10 years, they'll work bullshit jobs. Removals. Deliveries. 
working for BT. Six months shadow on a man. Same with Virgin Media. And for whatever reason, they might lose that job. In the meantime, whilst they're doing these bullshit jobs, they're doing a little side hustle. Potentially could get themselves locked up. And they got youths as well. He's the same man in college. They were jumping from course to course. Man are doing business studies. Man are doing sports. Man are doing accounting. Man tried carpentry for a couple of months and dropped it out. Like the thing is to be an electrician is so easy. Don't think you have to be a fucking brain surgeon. As I said before in other videos and live streams. The reason why I even hate being an electrician. Don't get just a guy. I don't even like being an electrician. But I know, say, the skills and the knowledge that I possess can earn me a lot of money. And I will never forget to be an electrician. But the people them who are electricians, a lot of them were them kids in school who had fucking ADHD. Throwing paper at each other and fighting. And you know them man there that are just... You know like when you had like sets for, for school? Like you had set one was the highest. And then you had like set five. And man, they were all set four, set five. And all they did was go to college for a couple of years, two, three years, and now they're electrician. Too easy, man. Too easy. But man are lazy. Man don't want to study for three years. So for 10 years, they'll piss around and fuck around and just try and find something to, to latch on to. Try and jump onto something. Oh, trading's the new one. Oh, cryptocurrency. Oh, this or that. Man are working security. Man are driving buses. All these jobs that like you don't need to be doing. I mean, all you have to do is study for three years. Yeah, in the beginning, in the beginning, you're going to earn some shit money. Seven pound per hour. Now remember, earning five pound per hour as an apprentice. Seven and a half hours a day, you know. So what's that, what, 38 pound, whatever? Imagine I'll go to work, seven and a half hours, call it eight hours, and be walking away with less than 40 pounds for the whole day. But one day, and not too long ago as well, a man was earning literally per day when I worked it out as an average over the seven days. So Monday to Friday, I was earning a certain amount. Then Saturday and Sunday was overtime. But when I averaged out my, my daily wage, I was walking away with about £360 a day. Sitting down in an office, chatting shit with my colleagues because I was a supervisor. I was on 10 grand a month. Facts. There are people who watch my videos and they know because they done my fucking accounts for me at my workplace. But this is what happens when you study and you go through, you know, little hard times, you make a little sacrifice, you reap the benefits. Making sacrifice, you're able to buy a yard, you're able to buy a second yard. You're able to go through the process of buying a third yard right now. But that, that's not going to happen if you're just coasted along through life. Yeah, I get it. You don't know what to do. Yeah, but you know what? Find something to do. Because you know what? In that time, when you find something to do, like be an electrician or whatever, you might even come across what you really want to do in life. You might discover it. And the same goes for gal as well. You got gal out here, they go to school, they get their GCSE, they don't know what to do. So for the next 10 years, they're just doing bullshit jobs. Hairdressing, nail technician. Then they want to fucking work for Avon. 
want to work in fucking bookies and do all these bullshit job administration when they're getting paid peanuts. Instead of finding something that's going to pay them a decent money, they just jump in, working with kids and do all this bullshit. Yeah, I get it. Someone has to do it, but that don't have to be you. I can't help everyone. But what I can do is help the people who are watching. And I know not every person on this planet is going to watch my video. So you know what? The people them that don't discover me, the people them that don't watch my videos, let them work them jobs. So, someone got to have to do it. And furthermore, it shouldn't even be people who are born in this country. You know why? Because we got opportunities. Not because, oh, yeah, foreign. No, no, no. I ain't one of them people. Don't get it twisted. What I'm saying is, the people that should be doing the jobs that ain't that desirable, you can name some, they should be the people that come from a certain place where they have no education. They have no opportunity. So you know what? When they come over, they just take anything. But us, who's born in the UK, free education, no, we shouldn't be working no idiot jobs. We're take, taking liberties. You know, appreciate where you come from. So, yeah, man, forget a trade. And say, don't get twisted, though. Don't work for a next man forever. But you're going to have to work for a next man for a little bit. Yeah, you can't work for someone. You don't want to work for someone for the rest of your life. But in the meantime, you're going to have to work for someone for a little bit. How the fuck are you born in this country and you're doing removals? And don't get twisted. There's men who have degrees, you know, in business or whatever. And men are doing removals. £100 a day. Then they get this job and that job. Man are lost. Man need to, you know, focus and, you know, find something that's going to pay them a decent money instead of doing these little idiot jobs. Forced to work for Amazon. Or my Hermes and that. You're ridiculous, man. So, man them. You don't have to sell drugs. Listen, I, I, listen if I in, yeah, I ain't going to talk too much. But I made more money being an electrician than... <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. I've even been in situations where... A certain person has said to me, why are you doing this for? First of all, you're working for someone else. And they asked, well, how much do you get paid? And I said, how much I get paid? It was like, that's not even worth you going to jail for. And this is a, a such and such person. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is a person who most people look at as, you know, the lowest of the low. Because they're all prostituting themselves to get money to do this and do that. And they're telling me that... £500 you're getting paid a week a week is not worth you going to jail and this is someone who sells their body because they need to get such and such so imagine I was somewhere where I wasn't supposed to be doing something I wasn't supposed to do and I was getting paid £500 a week Seven days, you know, not five days. So, fuck, you know, that's, that's even less than fucking a hundred pound a day, like 80 pound a day. When, as an electrician, my daily rate could be more than half of what I was getting paid to do something that could lock me up in jail for three, potentially two years, whatever. All because... At the time, I didn't want to complete my studies or whatever. But thankfully, I went back to it, though. Thankfully, I went back to my studies. That's why I'm able to earn the money that I'm earning now. That's why I'm able to make videos in a three-bed house all on my own. Instead of shacking up in a three-bed house with the rest of my family in a box room. And some people are peeking out of their blinds because they're afraid that someone might scratch up their Mercedes. You're living at your parents' yard 
and you ain't got money saved like that, why are you driving a flashy car outside? Furthermore, if you've got money like that, a 10, 20, 30k, why have you not bought a yard? But anyway, the point of the video is, listen, man, you don't need to fucking sell drugs. It's long. Long. You'll be in jail for, for three years. When you sell drugs, you'll live a certain lifestyle. You'll be more advanced than the average person your age. You'll be more advanced than people who are 10 years your age. But what happens is, you end up paying it back in HMP ISIS. Pentonville, Brixton, stop selling drugs, just go to college, study a trade, mechanic, plumber, carpenter, you know, and even then like certain trades as well, like being a plumber, you can then become a gas engineer or whatever, innit? even when you do get your trade as an electrician, then you can go to uni and study electronic engineering. The world is your oyster, buddy. It starts with stop being lazy. Stop coursing along. That's, that, that's why these men are jumping from course to course, job to job. Man are doing deliveries for fucking fast food takeaway places. I'm seeing man who talk like they're bad boys in the area and that. Bro, these men are fucking security guards. Outside that fucking casino inside Stratford Westfield. You know how many road men like do some work, some shit jobs. I've even been in a situation where I see road men who are you know, who go and say like they're bad. I'm in fucking manor house. I'm at my auntie's yard and I'm going down the stairs and a man's walking up the stairs and he's delivering Tesco's food. But you're supposed to be a, a, a road man from Edmonton. What are you doing in Manor House delivering Tesco food? Like, come on, fam. But th this is what happens when man don't apply themselves. All he had to do was apply himself. But man procrastinate. A man think they're too big and that to be an apprentice. Well, I mean, even made a video about this. One of my dogs from work. He basically became the 30 year old apprentice. Set his pride aside. Got an apprenticeship. And now he's making money. Phoning me up talking about, yeah, he wants to start buying and renovating properties and that. Become a tradesman. And, and you know what? If you become an electrician or a tradesman, you might not get the work clientele like that. Because I, I don't. This is just a random job. Yeah, I don't get work like that. But I know other men that do. I know other men, they don't need, well, they don't work for other people. Because their thing's popping. You can earn five bills a day. Five bills a day being an electrician. And if you're not working for yourself, you can work on construction sites. 250 a day, 200 pound a day. Every construction site's different. You might work for different agencies or whatever. Self-employed electrician, £200 a day, easily. Become an electrical tester. Get even more money. It's your choice, man. You can continue selling drugs or you can continue jumping from this to that, whatever. Not completing anything, working these bullshit jobs that nobody requires your skill anywhere else. Or you can put your head down and say, you know what, fuck it. Three, four years, I'm just going to ride it out. And then one day I'll be making two, three hundred pound a day. And that's, you can earn three hundred pound a day working for someone. That'll probably only, only be on a construction site though, because you're going to be doing overtime. But boy, even two hundred pound a day, that's, that's, that's decent money. Yes. That's, that's four grand a month on a construction site. And you don't have to be looking around. You don't have to be worried about a man trying to lick you down. You don't have to worry about a man trying to stab you up or rob you. Everything's legit. Stay wise.